Hi, it's me, Ingrid INFP, and I've made a video about everything under the sun, but um, today we're going to talk about uh, SI comforts, and one of the SI comforts is um, assigning meaning to little trinkets, because um, I've already talked about SI and uh, the comfort it gives. Uh, this is going to be more uh, of a show and tell, I guess. Um, so. Um, behind me, I have the pride flag um, that I have as like uh, that I use as my curtain. Uh, anyway, um, I like that pride flag. Um, we're going to uh, look at the little trinkets that I have uh, that I've accumulated over the years. Uh, as I've said in an earlier video, uh, I grew up in a hoarder house. So uh, I always take uh, back uh, small things uh, to hopefully slightly declutter um, my uh, childhood home, but like uh, nowhere near to the right levels. Um, so uh, the first is a little box. Um, I also have a little uh, tiger. And I have a little, well, two bunny rabbits. And um, yeah, um, I also have this uh, glass fish. And all of them um, are um, basically um, a Ravensburger, like, or, or, or Schlecker. These are really good quality, these um, plastic ones because they're hand-painted uh, from Germany um, and um, they're from when I, my brother was little. My mom tried to make sure that he would get um, like, you know, quality toys um, because there are nine years between us. Uh, so we still haven't gotten rid of a lot of the stuff that I had when I was little, but um, well, my mom wanted to have a fresh start for him, uh, so he did not inherit any of my stuff, uh, really. Um, but so she thought that uh, having these actually nice animals um, would uh, make him into a... Well, make, make her into a better mother, I don't know. <laughs> make him into a, a better child, um, who's actually like well-behaved and takes care of, of his toys. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, then I've got some rocks. Um, I've got this rock. Um, I think it's a sandstone. Um, it has uh, different layers. It's sedimentary uh, rock. But I think it also um, is slightly, you know, you can see that it shines a little bit. I don't know if you can see. Um, but I think it was Met like sedimentary, but also slightly metamorphic. I'm not sure. Um, I also have a crystal quartz, uh, and I have another crystal quartz. Yeah. Um, and these are actually from my uh, geology class that I took. Um, I had to take a class in order to keep my student apartment when I was um, eh, studied well working as a, a junior doctor. Um, because I needed a place in Stockholm, so I, um, I had these, I had to take a class, um, with a certain amount of points, and I took geology, uh, distance by distance, and I, uh, but they did send us a box full of um, rocks, and so since I moved, I had to get rid of a lot of the rocks, but uh, some of the rocks I kept. And uh, those were the rocks I kept. Um, I really like sedimentary rocks. Um, if, I, if you ask me what my favorite rock is, I would say, um, uh, like, if we're not talking about gems here, then I would say, um, like, I like limestone. But I, I like sedimentary rocks a lot. I like... Um, uh, you know, that black rock. I don't know what it's called in uh, in English. <laughs> anyway, 
uh, I like slates, you know, like black slates. I like those rocks. Um, but I also like gems. Um, and I like granite. That's my favorite um, uh, metamorphic rock. Um, so yeah, I, I don't love geology, but I had to take that class and I kind of liked it. Because uh, it was kind of a chill class and I didn't have to do a lot of work. Um, and I also got the rocks, so that was cool. And then I've got this tiny skull. It's got also like all of the um, arteries in the head. Um, I don't actually know where I got this from, but um, my mom got it for me. Um, I think that it came together with a magazine about the human body when I was little, so uh, I thought I need to have a skull. Um, I actually do have a big plastic skull, uh, but I left it at one of my friend's houses when I was moving. Um, and he still has it because, um, yeah, he could keep it in his place. And that one I actually got from uh, um, ears, nose, throat um, doctor, a uh, plastic surgeon. And uh, because we were training on um, uh, like surgery on the bones. Um, so I actually have that still. But it's, it's now in the care of a friend, so I don't actually own it anymore. Um, it was intended to be a loan, but like at this point, it's just a gift. Um, then I've got uh, this little heart. Um, it's a little uh, heart full with lavender. Um, and uh, my mom always buys these things. They're little um, lavender packets that she buys at the market in France. Um, there are these little ladies who just make these all the time and they sell them. I sell them for pretty cheap, so I have a lot of them. Uh, I put them uh, like where my sock drawer is to make my socks smell nice. Um, and this kind of has um, calming effects. Uh, I also have this heart box. Uh, made out of paper and uh, that's kind of like I like uh, small Japanese origami things and um, this was made uh, of one of these origami stands um, I have some pins inside there um, that I just I just keep collecting stuff um, so yeah that's what's inside the box uh, I also have a little pin. I don't know if you can see the pin. Um, it's a little bird. Uh, and um, it's called a tofsvipa in uh, Swedish, which means like a tofs is a little hoop, like, you know, your hair goes up like that. Boop. Uh, and um, that's because this, this bird has a little little thing on his head, a little feather that pops up like that. And then um, uh, when I was doing my um, internship, I was living in a town uh, that was um, by uh, water, by um, a marsh, and it was like wetlands. So uh, they were really into all sorts of birds. There were a lot of water birds. And um, there was a little museum um, that's like told you how like what the birds look like and stuff and you could go bird watching um, and I actually saw some kind of cool birds um, and that was one of the birds that I saw but from a distance and their sound uh, when they um, sing is really cool um, so I check everybody out <laughs> I make everybody check out uh, how it sounds because it goes like woo, woo. It's really up and down, and uh, I. <laughs> it's pretty distinctive, um, and I started to decide that that was my favorite bird. You know, that's kind of how INFPs do it. You know, like we'll just decide that something is our favorite, and it just makes me very happy when I hear uh, what. Well, Certain things just, once I've decided it's my favorite, then I'm, I just get stupidly happy about it. Um, so, yeah, I have that pin. Uh, I bought that pin because of that. And uh, that makes me pretty happy. Um, there's also like the, the 
poster collections on my wall um, that I've uh, shown before. Um, I have other trinkets, but um, I keep them in a box. Uh, there are a lot of things in my box. Uh, but these are the things that I have out right now. Um, I'll tell you guys if I find something else cool uh, to show. Um, but yeah, so I want to, to just tell you guys about the things that kind of make me happy. Uh, for some reason, like, the stories behind the things are just as interesting as the things themselves. Um, I like the things. Like, I never use the things, but it's, it, it makes me happy to, to look at them. Um, and it gives me comfort, because that's what this eye does. And it gives you a sense of nostalgia, like thinking about those times. Um, and it makes me happy. Um, so, <laughs> that's how INFPs are really like into weirdly attributing memories to things. Um, some things like don't have a memory attached to them, but some really do. And, um, and, and some don't have a memory, but they have a story behind them. And um, I really like that. So that's why it's hard for me to part with things because I just have so much of these small things. Um, yeah, so tell me uh, what you guys think. Do you have any uh, small trinkets that you uh, enjoy? Um, how do these trinkets make me feel? Um, please uh, like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.